Well, hi from Zach today on the Zachwerty channel and I've got something very important to share with you which I apologise, I really ought to have made a video out of 12 months ago when I had my mercury fillings removed. There are other uh, videos on YouTube and lots of information on the internet. I used that uh, to help me and to make me aware of what was going on and also very importantly too about detoxification after the mercury is removed. But first of all, in this introduction, I'm going to tell you about the symptoms that I had. Basically, it was knees. Uh, climbing stairs became very difficult. My knees were really aching. Uh, even climbing a step, I would often use my hand to assist myself to get up that step. Driving a car, uh, I found after 20 minutes or so of driving, my back was very, very sore. Turning round to get something from the back seat was practically impossible. I would actually go out of the car and open the rear door and take something that way. Uh, my energy levels had dropped. I was tired during the day. I would take a nap in the afternoon. Uh, I must say, I've, I've always been a reasonably fit and healthy person. I swim, I cycle, I run. I used to go to the gym quite regularly. I still go occasionally now. I prepare, I take care of the things that I eat. Uh, I'm a very light drinker and I'm a non-smoker and I just let myself believe that this was just the aging process but it wasn't. People had said to me get the mercury taken out but you must have it done properly and I will do a follow-up video about that because I was very lucky and I had my fillings removed in Thailand on the island of Koh Samui by a really wonderful and very competent dentist there and the price was extremely reasonable and from what I can see on the um, internet far less than you would pay in the West and this guy did a really good job with a, um, a latex dam and proper breathing equipment and taking all the necessary precautions to make sure that you don't actually inhale or ingest more mercury uh, which can have very serious consequences so I'm going to end right now but um, there's going to be more videos to follow this talking about um, how I've detoxified myself following the uh, removal, about the removal itself and maybe some suggestions and any help I can offer you because I suffered and I'm quite certain there are people out there that are suffering also. The mercury could well be at the bottom of the problems that you have and I do hope that both from myself and other people on the internet and YouTube you would take that step to get the mercury taken out of your mouth as soon as possible. One final point, the mercury was put into my mouth when I was maybe eight or nine years old. The school dentist would come round to the school, you were dragged off down to his surgery and without any uh, permission requested from your parents, your teeth were drilled, the mercury and the silver was mixed and rammed into your mouth and I remember actually there were actually pieces of, um, of mercury which would kind of you know get trapped in between your gum and your cheek and whether I swallowed that or I don't know or maybe you know, spat it out as you do but there were no proper precautions made and of course mercury is one of the most toxic um, neuro um, Sorry, I'm, I'm lost for the word there, but it's a brain cell destroyer, basically. This is what you will read about mercury, and there it is, a smoking, sitting time bomb in your mouth. Please, uh, by all means, contact me if you want any information or where you can go for removal, but if you have that mercury taken out, you will notice an enormous change in the way that you feel, and, and your health level will improve enormously. So, more, more videos to follow. I hope you're listening to this. I hope you benefit from it. I now feel so much better, I really do. I just wish the same for you too. Thanks a lot. Speak to you again soon.